Hey everyone, I'm Vivian from Live by Viv. I am a podcaster, blogger, and psychologist, and I usually talk about mid-sizing curvy style um, and fashion. And today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about some fashion, but also some fitness. And um, while I wait for some people to get into the live, um, don't forget to follow me here on Amazon so you can see how I style all of these items that I'm gonna be talking about. And then you also won't miss when um, I go live because you'll get a notification. Um, so, okay, so today's topic, and this is a different live um, schedule. Usually I go on Mondays, but I wanted to kind of pop in and do a um, one on fitness because it's been a year since I started getting up in the morning early, an hour earlier, to um, get in some exercise and journaling and reading and some stuff like that. So I figured it'd be great to go ahead and do a live and share with you guys um, everything that I use on, you know, kind of every week to um, make sure that I get my fitness time in. Um, so, so yeah, so I'm excited. And you guys can go ahead and ask questions, so unmute, so you can ask questions on the chat, and um, we'll get started. All right, so the first thing, I'm gonna share some gym sets that I feel like are great for curves and midsize. Um, and I know it's hard to find gym sets that actually fit. So for me, I, you know, I have to, um, I need coverage, support, and I also want to look cute when you go to the gym, right? Or if you're going out and doing something fitness wise, it shouldn't be something where you're covering up too much. Um, it should be also something that you enjoy getting dressed to do. So this first set is one of my best sellers on my Amazon storefront. I absolutely love this set. I have a few of them and I'm going to show you guys the colors that I got. Um, and I've got this set, the, my first one was the orange one, and I want to say I got it maybe, oh, geez, like months, a few months ago, and then I started getting other ones, and, and you know, so I'll get into that in a minute, but this first one is this hot pink, super cute set, um, it has the U neckline, and it has like this ribbing that's really thick. Um, so I feel like it's very supportive. Um, and then the pants are the same thing. Really, really stretchy, feel good. And what I look for in gym sets is I want them to be like a combination of making me feel like supported and a lot of coverage. Um, but I want them to feel stretchy and that they're not going to be moving around. Like I don't have to mess with this set if I'm doing squats um, if I'm doing exercises, I'm not waiting, like, feeling like, oh, it's going to fall down or something like that. And what I like about this um, set is that it's high-waisted. So you can see, you know, I'm wearing, I just wear this when I go to the gym. So I just, you know, if it's not cold, I'll get into that in a minute. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I just wear this set, you know, I don't have to put something else on it because I feel like it's sufficient coverage. And because it's high-waisted, I'm not worried about my midsection. I'm not worried about that because I feel really supported. And this, the fabric's pretty substantial. So that means that, um, you know, it doesn't feel flimsy. And I think that also gives you some coverage when the fabric's really um, substantial. So that's this set. I am wearing an XL in it. I love it. I feel like it's a fun color. Um, so let me show you the other ones that I got from this set uh, in the different colors. So I got, actually I'm lying. The first color I got was this icy blue. So this one, you know, is a really pretty icy blue and I got the leggings here. And so you can see the ribbing on it. And it's just really stretchy. It was one of those, um, kind of items that I was like, I'm not sure if it's gonna fit me. Let me just try it. And it has a ton of reviews. It's really popular. Um, so I went for it and now I have like a bunch of them. So <laughs> the other one I have is an orange. You've maybe seen this on my storefront. Just a really fun color, right? It's a really punchy orange um, and a notch neckline. And you can see the different kind of ribbing it has um, on it too. And here's the leggings. So, uh, just have them like this. Okay, and then when it was like the fall, I got this chocolate one, this chocolate set. 
So same, you see the ribbing. It has like a, like a variation in the ribbing um, in the uh, tank top part of it. Um, and it also has removable pads. So, you know, for, you know, coverage and things like that. Let me take it off of here so you can see. All right. Yeah, so if you go inside out, you can see it has removable pads. So I feel like that's good, you know, um, so that if that's not something you want, you know, you can remove it. Um, most curvy girls, we're going to want to have that additional support and coverage. So I like that it has it. Um, so that means I don't have to wear a different sports bra underneath. You know, I'm just, just wearing this and I feel like it's enough support and coverage. Okay, so they also have like short sets too. So I got the white and I, I know it's pretty bold, right? So, um, cause usually, you know, if you have curves, you're just gonna, you, um, most women, they kind of stay with like dark colors because it's supposed to like make you look slimmer or whatever. Um, but you know what? I wanted something really nice and fresh. And so I got this white one, the bone color. And then I'll show you guys the shorts. Okay, so here are the shorts that I got with it. And then this is on my storefront. I styled this actually with the shacket um, in the fall. And I like these sets because you can kind of do that. If you want to just throw something over um, them, if you're going somewhere else, you can do that. You know, depending on your comfort level. But so you can, obviously you can see I'm really into these um, <laughs> sets because you see how many I have. And Okay, so yeah, so the one I'm showing now is in black, the same set I have here um, with the uh, pink. I also have, this is the basic black set. So same thing, you know, it's a notch neckline and the ribbing, really comfortable. So if you're kind of like on the fence, you're not sure about trying the set, you can start with the black then, right? If you have curves and you're kind of nervous, you can do that. And, and what I like, if you get the black one, you can probably wear the tank top um, on its own with other things because it has like really good support and coverage and it looks like fire on. Um, and then you can wear the leggings too because they're high-waisted and you can wear them in different ways too. So there's that. Okay, and then I also have the shorts set, the black. So here's the little kind of tank top. So the difference with the short set, if you want to keep in mind, is that it does not have the padding for the coverage. So, you know, so you want, you're probably going to have to wear, like when I've worn it, I've worn it just like as a top or just a set to kind of lounge around. Um, but if I wear it to the gym, I have to do like wear another sports bra underneath, but I can also mix and match, right? So here are the shorts, they're high-waisted. So if you wanted to do like biker short style, kind of layering street style, you can do that with these shorts. Um, for me, these shorts work better than like the basic um, biker shorts that people like to kind of layer with because it's high-waisted and I feel like high-waisted and a lot of like stretchiness and substantial fabric works really well for curves. So you can do that, and then if you wanted to, like let's say I wanted to do the short set, but I wanted to not have to wear a sports bra underneath the top, so I can do the you know tank top that goes with the pants set. Does that make sense? So you can do the shorts in that, and then you can layer a little jacket over it or whatever, a denim jacket, a little hoodie, then zip up to go do some errands or something like that. So really versatile um just love them and you know they uh have a lot of reviews and they're pretty popular all right let's keep going okay so the other thing i have is um these leggings that are, are have like i guess they're viral or whatever really popular and so funny okay so i saw them and again, they're high-waisted, so if you have curves, that's like your thing. But for me, that's what allows me to wear and have more, like these different styles and have more freedom is because I go with high-waisted, so I don't have to worry about my midsection not being a six-pack, you know, and it, and it goes in at the small, smallest part of my waist. It creates a nice silhouette, and I feel comfortable, and I don't feel like I'm going to like have, make a, have a show going on if I like do squats. Anyway, but these leggings, oh my gosh. So I had them on, I got them and I was like, let me try them. 
and um, and I got them in an XL. So everything here, I pretty much got in an XL. And uh, I put them on. My husband's like, like I didn't say anything, and he's like, Oh, where'd you get those leggings? I was like, Oh. <laughs> so yeah, they were a hit. So I have these black ones, and again, you can just. Also, a lot of this stuff, I, I like to get stuff that I can wear, you know, um, when I'm not at the gym. Like if I want to do some layering or kind of street style stuff. So you want to get stuff that's comfortable, that works for your frame, you know, if you're mid-size or have curves. And these leggings are fire. So I got these and I also got them. It's kind of like gunmetal y gray-blue color, you know. So really cute, high-waisted, comfortable. And they look good, so you're more likely to want to go to the gym or do some of this the exercise and take care of yourself when you feel good with what you're wearing too. Um, real quick, oh, Kindle customer, thank you for following me on Amazon. So right now I go to the next items. Don't forget to follow me on Amazon so you guys can see how I style these different items. You get notifications when I um, go live and you won't miss anything. All right, so let's go to the next um products i have here all right so you know you don't want to just have a cute set you want some cute shoes so these are my little like this isn't this cute right here like so new balance sneakers and if you've been watching my lives before you know i bring these up a lot um they're really cute and i feel like they're different because they're kind of this like brown and off-white um, and they're real comfortable and my, sh my feet don't look too big in them, you know, and it doesn't look like I have clown feet. So price is reasonable, good reviews. And, um, I feel like it can match with some stuff that's more kind of that, like not just wearing black or gray, you know, and then I also wear these with little dresses and things like that, like mini dresses. So those are these right here. Okay. And then Nike, you know, reliable, um, <laughs> Uh, I have, these are, mine are black, the ones, and you go through the products, you'll see the black ones, but the ones in the um, carousel right now are pink, but these are what I probably wear on most days, almost every day. So my routine is I get up around 5 a.m. pretty much every day. The weekends, I've kind of softened it up a little bit. I might get up at 6, maybe even 7, as long as I get my time and it's fine. But my rationale for getting up at 5 every morning is because then I get an hour to myself and I can, you know, half of that, do some journaling and reading a little bit, and then I can go to the gym. Um, and that's how I've been able to, you know, take care of myself. I feel fantastic. And it just takes a minute to get used to doing that. I have a uh, something I'm gonna share at the end that's helped me kind of get going with that. So these are the shoes I wear almost every day. And I just put my stuff out in the, uh, the night before in the area that I'm gonna to use to change where I have all my journaling stuff and everything. Um, and then I'll show you my gym bag, but I put everything over there, you know, so that my gym set's ready, my shoes, and then I'm ready to rock, ready to go, um, so that I can get some time in for myself so that I'm the best version of myself. All right, and thank you, I think it's Inakli Sid Ramirez for following me. Okay, all right, so now let's get into some home gear. So there's days that I may say, you know what, I'm not gonna have like enough time to get over to the gym. It takes me about, I don't know, like eight minutes to get there. So maybe I don't wanna use that like 20 minutes, right? Cause eight and eight, you know, or 16 minutes to drive back and forth. Um, or it's an earlier morning for me and I gotta just make sure I'm, I'm wherever I'm at, I'm like just there right on time and um or whatever so i've been getting some different items to have at home and this is something especially if you're a mom and there's times that things unexpected things come up then you have some things at home to kind of you know make sure you get your your fitness time in um and uh here they are wow it's 15 pounds so i have other weights <laughs> let me go with one right now Whew, okay, so these are 15 pound weights that I got and what I do is I just, you know, do my squats or I do some compound exercises that I've learned from my trainer. I go to a trainer once a week and just try to get that time in and then I feel, you know, um, like 
I am still getting the, the time to take care of myself, but it's at home and then these I can just go put away in the closet and pull them out and have them ready. So, so this is like some stuff I've been getting to just kind of start to build the home gym, okay? So you can see it's pretty substantial because it's 15 pounds. So if I were you and I'm starting out, I would go maybe start with like a five pound and then a 10 pound and then get 15. So I already had the five and the 10, so now I need the 15 for squats and other things like that. So I'm not gonna demonstrate because I think I'll lose my breath <laughs> here. So, And then that's not cute, live, okay. So there's that. All right, the other thing I got that I've learned from working with the trainer is using these bands. So when you do some squats, you're gonna burn more calories, right? And these are cute because they have these, um, what's called, I think it's booty bands. <laughs> but I like that they have these different, like kind of, uh, uh, you know, um, categories or levels on them. So this is a medium, medium kind of uh, resistance. And what you do is you could put them, you know, like at your ankles and do some movements. Um, I put them up kind of by my calves and then do some squats down the kitchen and back, you know. Um, but I like that these are cute colors, but more importantly, they have these like really whoops, fun descriptions on them. And they come in a little bag too. So this is light. So if you were just starting out, you can do this, the light one, right? And then what I was sharing earlier was medium, the pink. And then um, it starts going up. Strong, this is strong, okay, you can see that. And then this one was funny when I saw, I was like, ooh, heroic. Cool, right? I may not be getting to this one, may not be getting to this one. This might be more for my husband. But I like that it comes in this little mesh bag, and um, so I could just have it, you know, in the closet, pull it out, and then that way you don't feel like getting fit and having some time to yourself is such like in a big event. You just have stuff, and then you you do. I just started with like 20 minutes at the gym, you know. I'm just gonna go on the treadmill a little bit, and I'm gonna watch like my favorite show or have my playlist going, you know, that kind of thing. So. So that's uh, the, the bands, okay, and it comes in this little bag, so I like that. Oh, the next thing that, you know, I was kind of a late adopter, <laughs> I was a late, to, late to the party, but I'm glad I got it, is my Apple Watch. Um, and I like, like uh, the reason I put it on here is also because the band, I feel like the band is pretty neutral, and, and if you're following me on Amazon, which you should, um, you'll see that I just wear it all the time and it kind of blends in really well with everything that, you know, dresses and I just have it on. Um, but what I like is that it's um, helping me kind of monitor my steps. I'm getting 10K steps in a day. It's monitoring my calories. And then when I do a little workout at home, because I'm not on a treadmill, I can monitor my heart rate and how fast I'm going. So I think it's definitely worth the investment to get your Apple Watch but also then have like a fun band that you like that kind of works with your palette of what you usually wear. So that's my advice on that. <laughs> All right, the other stuff now I'm gonna get into is just like the practical things that I feel like you want to have that'll help you be able to stay on track and um, not make it a big chore to get some fitness in. So this is my Hydro Flask. Love it so much. Um, I like the color too, because you see kind of like a little pop of color with the pink. Um, and it has this cute little person on it too. Um, well, what I like about this is that it's the water stays cold. So what I do the night before, fill it up with cold water, have it ready. And so in the morning when I um, get up at five, it's already ready to go and it's cold still. It's awesome. And it has this little handle too. So um, super easy to just kind of, it's functional, you know, and I can take it to work and then also to the gym, and it's it's good to go. So I also got one for my um, husband in the black. All right, let's also talk about like your gym bag. So this gym bag, um, this also, I'll tell you what else I use it for, but so you can have your clothes in here. So this is for situations like, let's say I go to the gym and I need to leave from the gym to work. Um, so I can put the, my clothes in here, but also what I like about this, 
or if you swim in the morning or do that kind of stuff, it has a wet section. Isn't that cool? So this is a wet section, right? And this is like genius. It has a, a shoe section to put your shoes. <laughs> so, so you know how like you don't want to put like your shoes with like your clothes because they get dirty and all that. It separates it for you. So I really think that is helpful. Um, and then when I don't use this for the gym, I actually use this for my son's swim class. So after his swim class, we put the bathing suit in the wet, wet section um, and then zip it up and we're good to go. So I don't have like 5 million bags. So I have a lot of different colors. I chose black just to, you know, just a basic bag, but it's great. A great gym bag. Cause again, you want to like reduce the friction of being able to just get to the gym and do what you need to do. So, okay. I have one more thing. Um, okay. So I have the bento box stacked right here. Okay. And what I do with this, and I have one more item I was going to share, but you know what, I'm like, I actually was like washing it because I was using it so much, but I'll share the, the lunchbox that I use with it. Okay, so um, this is super easy if you do meal prep, or what I do is I put some fruit in here, or some snap peas, that kind of thing, and then like a little bar or something like that, and they just, you know, different lids and colors that go with it. Um, and just really easy to throw into my lunchbox, which I'll show you guys in a second. My salad bowl, which I just, I was like, wait, I just used it today, so I washed it, so I don't have it on me right now. But um, you guys can watch another live that I, I have it on there. So, but this one, you can kind of put your salad in there, your whatever you want for your toppings and your dressing, everything, and it clicks, and then it goes together. So then what I do, is I put that in my lunchbox. It fits perfectly in here. And then I also put my little, you know, containers. So every day I have no excuse to not have something like that I should be, that's good for me to be eating, you know? I just put it in here and it fits and that's it. All right, the last thing I'm gonna share that I think will really help, you know, if you're starting to exercise more or if you're like having trouble kind of staying consistent is this book, Atomic Habits. I've shared it before in my other live where I talked about fitness. Um, and it just talks a lot about how to kind of set up your environment to um, sustain habits, to build and sustain habits. Really, really good. You can see I'm like really into this book. So I like write a ton of notes, I'm a little nerd. So, so there's that. So. That is what I have today. Um, I'm gonna start to sign off. And before I do that, don't forget to follow me here on Amazon. And uh, so you guys can get curvy and mid-side style and then more fitness things that I find uh, useful, for, useful for all of you. Um, and also if you follow me, you'll get the notifications the next time I go live. And that is pretty much it. I will see you guys around. Bye.